In this video, we're going to look at finding some common percentages that we see in our everyday lives mentally, without paper and pencil, just being able to figure them out in our heads. And even if they're not common percentages, these techniques that you're going to learn are going to help you estimate some not so common percentages. So I have some pictures up here, and each one of these pictures represents a certain percentage. Hopefully you can look at some of these and figure out what percent is being represented by the green colored slice. Let's look at the easiest one over here. How about this one? This is 50%. We have 50% of our circle is shaded. Here we have half of the 50%, which would be 25%. This next one is cut into five pieces. Remember that you want your total to add up to be 100%. So if you have five slices and you take those 100% and split them up amongst these five, 100 divided by 5 would be 20. That's 20%. And over here there are 10 slices. So each one of these slices is going to need to be 10% in order to add up to 100%. All right, now looking at these pieces of pizza is going to help us, or these slices of circles here, help us to determine our shortcuts, which I am going to write in, how about red? That's a good color. We can see 50% of something is half of it. So the shortcut for being able to figure out 50% of something is dividing by 2, and you probably already knew that one. Now 25%, you can see, is one-fourth of the whole circle. So if you want to find 25% of something, a shortcut is to just divide that number by 4. Sometimes it's hard for us to divide by 4 in our head. We're pretty good at dividing by 2. So another way to divide by 4 is to divide by 2 twice. You could take a number and divide it by 2, get your answer, and then divide it by 2 again. That's the same as dividing by 4. 20% we can see is one-fifth of a circle. So if we divide by 5, we'll be able to get 20% of a number. Now 10% is one-tenth of a circle, so we would divide by 10. Dividing by 10 is actually one of the easiest things to do. When you're dividing by 10, you simply move the decimal, move the decimal one place, to the right. That's kind of sloppy. Let me rewrite that. That looks like it's running together. One place to the right. And we'll look at some examples here. One place right. I'm going to show you another shortcut for 20% in a minute here, but let's look at an example. Okay, so let's let's take a number and find the percent of that number with all these different percents. So here's our number. Let's do, oh, let's do, how about, um, how about 60? All right, so let's say, let's just, let's make it, let's make it realistic and let's say it's $60. Because that, that always helps us to imagine what's going on if we can um, sort of put a real life situation on it. So let's say we've got $60. And we're we're at a sale, and we could eat, and we've got some things that are fifty percent off, twenty five percent off, twenty percent off, ten percent off. We want to see how much we would save. All right, so fifty percent off of sixty, our shortcut is to just divide by two. So what's sixty divided by two? Very good, that's thirty. Twenty five percent off, our shortcut is to divide by four. Now some of us would have trouble dividing sixty by four in our heads. The whole goal here is to be able to do this in your head. You don't want to have to go off to the side and, and work it out. So this is a great example of where divide by two, divide by two works pretty well to do twenty five percent. So think of sixty as fitting inside this whole circle. So you divide by two, you'd get thirty, and then you have to divide by two again. What's thirty divided by two? 15. A lot of us can do that in our heads. That's good. That's the, that's the idea. All right, 20%. We have to divide by 5. That can be a little tough for some of us to do in our heads. But we know that uh, 5 goes into 50 10 times. And then we'd have another 10 left over, and 5 would go into those 10 twice. That would give us 12. I'm going to show you another shortcut for 20% if, if that was a little tricky for you. 
and 10%, we just divide by 10, which is to move the decimal one place to the right. Well, where's the decimal in the 60? It would be at the end if it's not written. So you just move it one place to the right, put it right there, it would just be 6. Very easy. So 10% of 60 is 6. So here's the other shortcut for 20%. You find 10% and then you multiply it by 2. Think about it, right? 10%, if you double it, you're going to get 20%. So sometimes, instead of dividing by 5 to get 20%, it's just easier to move the decimal over once you get 6 and times by 2. I think for most of us, 6 times 2 is easier to do than 60 divided by 5. So that 6 times 2 is 12. Isn't that great? That's a very easy way to get 20%. Move the decimal over once to get your 10% and then multiply it by 2. I like this way right here. All right, let's try another one. That was good. Let's see. Oops, that's going to cut off too much. I want to leave these shortcuts up here. I probably shouldn't have done that squiggly line. It's going to be hard to erase. I'll just erase it once, and then I won't have to do it anymore. So I'll give you a number, and then I want you to find 10% of that number, 20%, 25%, and 50%. We'll start off with one that's that's not too hard. Let's try let's try 80. Okay, what's 10% of 80? 20% of 80, 25% of 80, and 50% of 80. See if you can fill those in and figure that out. If you need to pause the video and then start, that that's fine. All right. Well, let's let's start and work our way over. So 10%, we're just going to move the decimal one place over. So that'd be 8. 20%, we could take 80 and divide it by 5, but I like this second shortcut is just to take what we got for 10% and double it, so that would be 16. 25%, we're going to divide by 2 and divide by 2 again, so 80 cut in half would be 40, cut it in half again would be 20. And 50% is just 80 cut in half would be 40. Pretty easy. Isn't that great? So when you're out there and you're... You're doing stuff that's on sale and, you know, it's 20% off or 25% off. You can um, find out what it is very quickly. Now, let's say you're, you're finding something that's on, on sale and the original price was $78. Okay, that might be a little harder to do in your head, but you can just round it to 80. I mean, that's pretty close, right? You could just round it up to 80 in your head. And then if it was 20% off, you know it'd be right around 16 bucks. That'd be pretty close. Uh, it would just be a, a little bit less because the price was a little bit less to start. So these can really help you even if the original number is not quote unquote nice. Okay, let's try another one that's maybe a little bit tougher and see if we can do it in our head. Let's try... Let's try... How about um, 24? 24. Okay, let's see. Should we start with 10%? We could think of this as money. It's $24. So if it's 10% off, your decimal's at the end. You're just going to move it one place over. It's going to go right there. I'll erase that because we don't want that there for our next problem. So move it over. So it's 2.4. If it's money, you'd add a zero. I'll just put the 2.4. 2.4. So it's money, it'd be $2.40. So this is where... For 20%, the 10% times 2 can be really helpful. 2.4 times 2, you can do that in your head. Think of $2.40 and double it. How much do you have? $4.80, 4.8. See, that's a lot easier than doing 24 divided by 5. All right, 25%. 24 divided by 4, or 24 divided by 2, divided by 2. 6, good job. And half, 50% is kind of the easy one, right? 24 divided by 2 is 12. So it's okay if you have some decimals in there, and that, that still makes, that's still pretty easy to do. All right, good job. Let's see, let's try one more. Let's try a big number. How about, how about 15,000? 15,000. All right, if you want to pause the video and try this, that'd be great. 
All right, let's see what you got. So 10%, we're just going to move the decimal once. That would be 1,500. 20%, we want to double that. Let's see, that would be 3,000. 25%, we got to cut it in half and cut it in half again. Let's see. So half of 15,000 would be 7,500. Ooh, this one's a little tough to cut in half, isn't it? Well, we can do it in our heads. We can sure try. So 7,500 cut in half. We could do 7,000 cut in half would be 3,500. And then we've got this 500 to cut in half, which is 250. The idea is to do this without writing stuff down, but let me write it down so you can kind of see what I'm what I'm thinking here. I'm thinking of taking this 7,500 and separating it into 7,000 and 500, and then cutting each of those in half. So half of 7,000 is 3,500. Half of 500 is 250, and then I can put those together. And I get 3,750. That one was a little tougher. But practice, practice, and you'll get better at it. And of course, half of 15,000, we already had that when we were working on the other one, is 7,500. All right, good job. That was, that was good. Now let's see a couple other percents that you should definitely know how to do that I don't really have a picture of are 100% and 200%. And these are going to be kind of obvious, but I'll just write them down. If you have 100% of something, that's just the whole thing. So if it's 100%, you don't really have to do anything. It's just the same number. And if you have 200%, then what that means is it's doubled. So you're going to take your number and you're going to multiply it by 2. So example, if I have um, $65, all right, 100% of that is just $65. 200% of that, you just double it, 65 times 2. 60 times 2 would be 120, and 5 times 2 is 10, so that gives us 130. There's not a lot of times out when you're in your real life where you're seeing 200%, but you may hear it somewhere, something's gone up 200%. If something's gone up 200%, it was $65, and now it went up $130. So its new price would be $195. So if something is increasing by 200%, it's really, it's really going up a lot. The most common ones you're going to see in your everyday life are these 10, 20, 25, and 50 percent. So practice those when you're in the store and you see these percentages. Um, another place is maybe when you're, when you're out at a restaurant, if you're going to leave a 15 percent tip, we could use our 10 percent and our 20 percent to figure out 15 percent. And you would want to round. I mean, so let's say you go to dinner and you're and your bill comes out to be you know, $28.75. All right, I'm not going to figure out exactly 15% of that. I'm going to change that to $30. So I know that 10% of $30, move my decimal once, is 3. And I know that 20% is 6. So if I'm going to leave somewhere, you know, and they don't they don't always expect exactly a 15% tip, right? This is a guideline. So if you think you want to leave a 15% tip, then you want to leave a tip between three and six. If you want to leave exactly a 15% tip, you have to leave exactly the number between three and six dollars, which would be $4.50. But if you want to leave something around that ballpark, you could just be somewhere between three and six dollars. So practice those and notice all the places you see percents in your real life.